Hey there, Jody Kodish here. Tomorrow is a very important day. I'm gonna explain what it is in a second, but I have to explain how we get there to tomorrow's date, so I'm gonna show you something. If you were born in September, October, or November, you could be smarter than everyone else. Um, born in other months, and there is actual science behind it. Uh, studies have come out recently. One came out yesterday, but I've, been, I've seen these studies done in the past, and it's actually super cool. Um, the reason being, and the reason uh, for this study was they noticed um, disparities between different months when students were born and their IQ or their testing, right? And so the test was completed recently with 1.2 million students. Um, this company did where they um, tested them and they found out like overwhelmingly that students in those that were born in September, October, November did much better than the others, but they had some scientific explanation for it. There's a couple things. Um, when you're little and you're born, right, let's say you're born in the summer or the spring. By the time you hit that kind of really um, fragile six month old mark where you start to really develop those fine motor skills or crawling as well, you're in the winter. So you're not able to go out as much, right? not able to develop as much or to be as active as much is kind of a thought process behind it then students who were born in September October November they were hitting that six month mark right around the spring and summer where you get to get out and be more active and learn more so which kind of maybe puts you at an advantage early on but the advantage continues when you go into school and you're going into elementary school and you start school you know how those those cutoff dates right well students that were born in August they're typically the youngest ones in their class, right? But the students that are born in September, October, November, they are the oldest ones in their class. So they come in at an advantage there because it's almost like they're a whole year ahead mentally than those students in some cases. So what ends up happening, because they get held back and they start you know, the following year a little bit older, they have that advantage and it tends to keep up throughout the years. So sometimes, and what they've said in these studies, it, it is a correlation between those students going to college more than students that weren't born in those months. So fall babies have it all, y'all, right? Um, okay, so here's the thing. September 19th, September 19th, tomorrow, right? Or today if you're watching this on September 19th, but tomorrow, September 19th is a very important day. I'll tell you why. Did you know that the most births in the United States the most birthdays are in September. So if your Facebook feed is blowing up with birthdays and wishing people happy birthday and you notice there's more birthday talk this month, it's because out of the 10 days with the most birthdays on them, September has nine of them. Basically, everybody's born in September and there's science behind that too. Because if you go back 40 weeks from September, it's the holidays, it's Christmas and New Year's and tend to have more babies during those months. Now, I know that you're thinking there's lots of bow chicka bow wow up in December, right? And January maybe, but that's not the case. Well, it could be, it, it definitely is a factor. That's the studies have shown that is definitely a factor that people are partying, it's the holidays, you're cuddling up, right? We get that, there's a definite factor. However, there's actual science to it too. And the science is that in the summer months, right? The heat affects men's, okay? And so it's weaker in the summer months and full throttle in the winter. So in the winter, we're having a um, biological um, advantage to having kids anyway. So it would make sense that most um, conceptions happen in the winter months just based off of your body. Is that cool or what? September 19th, tomorrow, happens to be um, one of the top three days where people have a, their birthday on. So if you notice a lot of people tomorrow wishing happy birthday, it's, um, yeah, it's a fact. Most people, the top three, September 19th is one of them. Um, I think it's like September 8th, the first one. I'll have to double check on that. But in any case, I thought I would let you know this. Let me see here. So here's the thing. You have to have a lesson from every um, one of these videos, right? If you are looking to start a family and you're having that conversation and you're ready to start having kids, Hold up, hold up, just wait till Christmas. It gives you like three months for you to shop for some nice lingerie. And then on Christmas, the month of Christmas, and in January, knock yourself out because then you may be looking at a September, October, November baby, which according to science may just give them that smidgen of, a, of um, an advance over everyone else. So make December your Netflix month and it'll be fun. Hey folks, um, 
follow my page or like my page if you haven't already or if you're watching this because somebody else shared it. I'm working on a cool video for the first day of fall on Friday. I have like 10 to 12 things about fall you probably didn't know and it's gonna blow your mind. Super cool and I'm working on that now kind of gathering information and if you like these videos um, it helps me if you share them because it's incentive to keep making them <laughs> if people are actually watching them. But I'm having a good time. Hope you like the page and um, big Thank you for the amount of shares. Do you know that my last video, the first one I did from home, got 333 shares. It got like a ridiculous amount of likes. It reached over 100,000 people and it had like over 50,000 unique views. It was ri ridiculous. That was so cool. So it just proves a point that people like to learn. And um, I, I think that was kind of an interesting video. If you hadn't seen it, go back and watch it. It's about um, solar flares and what they mean for us here on our weather. Um, but like I said, I'm working on fall. We'll see you later. Bye.